My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. I really believe we have the nicest 1976 Fleetwood Brome in existence sitting right here. If it's not the nicest, it's got to be one of the nicest. It's really that good. 22,000 actual miles. Car is practically pristine. Go to volocars.com. That's where you get all the specs, pricing, photos, top to bottom of this car and a few hundred other cars. But right now, why don't you join me? We'll go for a, a spin in this cruiser, in this fantastic limousine. It's not a limo, but it sure seems like one. Uh, anyway, it's a three-owner car. The first owner was elderly when he bought it, so he just used it on you know, rare occasions. The second owner is a member of the Cadillac Car Club, so he got the car, cherished it. He only put 600 miles on it. The third owner is also a member of the Cadillac Car Club. This car was not advertised for sale. He put the word out he wanted a triple black Fleetwood Brome, and he found this car, except the second owner wouldn't sell it. So he said, what have you got to trade? So he had to do some trading even to get this car. So now we're at the third owner, a uh, very wealthy gentleman. Uh, he has a car collection. A uh, very pleasant man, I was talking with him, and he says he's very serious about his collector cars. What he means by that is he really enjoys them. He takes exceptional care of them. He is faxing me over or, or emailing me over $20,000 in invoices, uh, work that he had done to make the car in perfect working condition. It was always an excellent car, but tires, you know, gaskets, things like that may go bad just from age. He went through it front to back. The car functions like a new car. So all the exterior is gorgeous. All of the chrome is beautiful, sparkling. The rub strips are excellent. Uh, just all in beautiful shape, all sparkles. The hubcaps are mint, tires are new. I mean, every molding, all of it is just beautiful, straight, shiny. The body is absolutely straight. There's no bubbles, there's no rust, there's no damage, no scrapes from the garage. It is absolutely fabulous. All along the bottom here is smooth, no rust, no old cracking paint. The vinyl top is in excellent condition. The glass is crystal clear. Uh, it has a rear window defroster. The plastic fillers are all in excellent shape. And again, the bumper's real nice. Here's a little tiny nick right there. Uh, beautiful shape, everything's sparkly, uh, in excellent shape. Look down the side of the car, it's fantastic. Inside the car is phenomenal. It is literally pristine from carpet to headliner. That is the softest leather I think I have ever felt. You can tell he's had it all treated. And I mean, it is soft. It's that poofy, uh, like pillow top type leather, the armrest, everything is glove soft, like the softest leather you've ever felt. That's what's in here. The dash sparkles, the chrome vents, the knobs, the lenses, the wood grain, the door panels, the chrome around the window switches. Everything is sparkly, beautifully uh, clean. Got to open the hood from inside. See if I can even lift this hood by myself. That's the biggest motor produced at that time, a 500 cubic inch. It's the four barrel electronic ignition. So everything here looks original. It has a nice clean, uh, but yet patina. It's not overly restored and showy, but it's all completely serviced. It's updated uh, R134 Freon in the air. The air conditioning works, power antenna works. Everything's working in this car. Door jams are beautiful, rubber's real nice. But look at all the wood grain, all this chrome. Every ashtray is unused. The cigarette lighters have never been used. It's power seats on both sides. The sill plates are shiny. Owner's manual in the glove box. 
I hope they got the bodies out. Yes, they did get the bodies out. All carpeted wall to wall. It's got the jack, the spare, the light works, the rubber is soft. And this has the automatic trunk pull down. When you set it down, it sucks it in the rest of the way. All the interior lights work, even the little individual uh, like map lights work. He has the thermometer here, no pitting on the mirrors. Again, just outstanding. I'll start it up. It runs nice and smooth. And where is the keys? Probably in the back. Let me get the keys. There we go. See how magic happens. Now, I've had low mile cars. This thing's immaculate. The vents aren't yellowed, it's not dusty. Uh, it's just absolutely immaculate in here. And again, the leather is so soft. Headliner is mint. The mirror is mint, the visors, all the chrome up around the window frames just sparkles beautifully. You watch how the, the trunk will, will pull down the rest of the way. Even the little lights here, Landau lights. Oh, I forgot to mention in the back seat, you got plenty of room and it has fold down carpeted footrest with chrome uh, edges on the sides. It's a fantastic car. It's a big car too, but don't worry, we're not gonna charge by the foot. We had to back this one on the turntable just so it goes around. So here's a rare opportunity. It's a 22,000 mile car uh, from a Cadillac Club member that again takes his cars very seriously. $20,000 was spent just making the car uh, as good as it can possibly be. The car is in phenomenal shape. Go to volocars.com, plenty of ways to contact our staff. Uh, any questions you have about the process of buying the car, shipping, financing, questions about the car itself, I will be posting on there uh, all the specific work that's been done to it. Uh, so visit volocars.com. Subscribe to our uh, YouTube channel. That's the best way to see these videos as we're putting them out there. I appreciate everyone who's been watching, and we're not going to stop. we got a lot more to come. Thank you.